All right, we're going to rebuild the cylinder, the top bow lock or the trunk bow lock for the rear bow lock on the Mercedes uh, SL, S, uh, CLK, convertible cabriolet, soft top, or whatever you want to call them, uh, and the Mercedes. Now these cylinders, if you bought a new cylinder, they're about $160 for a new cylinder. Uh, what we have here is I'm going to show you how to rebuild the cylinder for actually relatively inexpensive. Now these cylinders themselves, they're aluminum cylinder, they're aluminum case, and they only require to take them out. There's only two bolts with an Allen head on both sides to pop them out. Now before I go through and start taking this one apart, what I want to do is I want to take a file, and right here there's a burr that's caused by machining. I want to take this burr off of here so I don't do any more damage to the inside before I take this cylinder apart, any of the guides or anything on the inside. And you can feel it with your fingernail if you feel a burr on there, just, just stop and take that burr off. Now, in a cylinder that's made to take apart, you normally have, uh, you would normally have a notch to take the locking ring out that you could put a tool in and just peel back and take this retaining ring out. These were never meant to be taken apart, so obviously we don't have that. Now, you, could have, you do have the option of taking a screwdriver and trying to pry this thing out, but I'm telling you, you can do more damage, and I'll show you an easier way to get this thing out by making your own notch. And what I do is take the retaining ring and rotate it to a position where I can grind a little notch in here and then put the screwdriver in, and then I'll slide this ring right out. I have a cylinder here that I've already done this to. And as you can see, I, I ground a little bit of a notch right here on this edge. And I did that with a Dremel tool. I just went down with the Dremel tool, ground a little notch. Then I took the screwdriver, went behind the locking ring, and then peeled. The, the, I was able to peel that locking ring back. Once I peeled the locking ring back, I was able to remove the cylinder, take it apart. And this right here, I'm going to show you what a cylinder, when you take it apart, when you have your cylinder, you have your notch, you, take, you already took the ring off, you just pull the cylinder apart, and this is the interior of the cylinder itself, and the part that leaks is this crumbly old seal right here, and that's the one causing all the problems. So we can pull that out, and we clean up the cup right here, and in the kits we do supply a new o-ring which you could take off and put the new o-ring on. I don't think I have to show you how to change an O-ring. That should be pretty pretty straightforward to change that O-ring right there. Uh, it's not necessary. You don't generally get leaking in here. You get leaking from this the uh, deteriorated seal on the shaft. So what we're going to do is once that's cleaned up, we're just going to take the new seal. And the groove for the seal goes to the bottom, which is the metal washer on the bottom. And I would take a little bit of lube light oil or uh, the fluid and just put it on the shaft so it's lubed. I'm not doing that right here because I'm on my desk. You just lube this a little bit, take your new seal, put it on, take the cup, put it over the new seal, bring your backing washer up and now we're in business. Now uh, uh, like I said, in with the kit we supply that o-ring and just remember the plastic backer goes to the top and the o-ring goes to the bottom of the groove and both of those are supplied. And once this is back together, we could take it, slide the whole thing back together, and you, could, you, you should, should lube this a little bit before you put this all back together so you don't rip any of the seals. And then just push, push this back in, take your locking ring, and just walk it back around till it's locked in position, and you're ready to go with a rebuilt seal that should last you another 5,000 miles Five, five years, not 5,000 miles. Should last you another five years. And you will notice too that the seal is green. The material is a little different than uh, some of the materials that are on the market. That material is made for wider temperature variation, which the original Mercedes was made for wider temperature variation. And of course the O-ring. So each kit comes with the new seal and the O-ring. These are nine millimeter seals. And after putting that back together, you should be in business shouldn't have any more leaks. You can top off your reservoir in the back and your soft top should work.